everybody, if you caught or didn't catch the very beginning, I am here with Ernie Graham, CEO and founder of HomeBot, uh, one of our favorite tools here at AIM. We absolutely love it. Uh, I actually got a chance to see this tool. Ernie, I don't even know if you remember, I was the first person from the AIM slash Arrive group that saw this after months of trying to connect. I was the very first one and I actually turned around and called Anthony when I was still at Arrive and I said, if we don't partner with these guys, I'm gonna quit and go work with them. I actually had that conversation because I thought the tool was so cool. And this was, gosh, almost a year ago probably at this point, maybe nine months, but it was a while, a while back that we started looking at that stuff, we were finally able to get a partnership together in the fall and it's just taken off like a rocket. Everybody in the community who uses you guys loves you. So Ernie, thank you so much for taking some time and chatting with us. Thank you, Katie. Really appreciate you having me today. Absolutely. So one of the things just to really kick things off, I think we see a lot of our partners here that are in that Brokers Are Better network are attempting to adjust to the market conditions, right? We're seeing it from our lenders, we're seeing it from our vendor partners. What is HomeBot doing to react to the current market environment and how are you guys setting yourself up to continue to be a tool that's powerful and impactful for brokers to use with their consumers? Yeah, that's a great point. Um, you know, one of the things we talk about a lot is don't ever be tone deaf like really understand what's happening in the industry, what's happening with consumers, what's happening with our customers. And there's two things that, that we see right now happening. Number one, um, and I would, I'm going to say this first, connection. Um, when consumers get scared and fearful, they isolate themselves. It's harder to get connected to people. And that using HomeBot as an engagement tool to, to be able to talk to people. Yeah. And, um, and you know, how do you feel? what's going on being, uh, uh, whereas HomeBot is enabling the LO and their past clients or even their prospects time to engage so that the LO can be a power listener. The broker can really listen to how they're feeling and understand what's going on, regardless if there's a transaction. I think during times like this, as an industry, priority one is to serve, is to listen and to serve and advise. Priority two is to transact. And and so that's the first piece is you can't serve, you can't advise if you can't get people on the phone, if you can't get people in video. Right. And this other thing I say right now, it's just like, folks, the texting can wait. People need real connection right now. So HomeBot's ability to light up your database and get them calling you is really important right now. The second thing is, is that when your ability to see who's engaged with their HomeBot and then you call them, but just the ability to connect like that is huge. Now, we, you know, you're probably thinking it's like, well, Ernie, that's the story you always tell, right? <laughs> what, what makes it, what makes it particularly acute right now, and what are we doing to even respond even more so to what's happening? Yep. So that's what Homebot does all the time. But um, we are really turning on a dime right now to put more features and functionality to amplify that engagement. Like for instance, HomeBot's always done a great job of helping the homeowner track the value of their home. Now we're letting them track their market. Is it getting hot? Is it getting cold? Is it bottoming out? Is it going up? To really help them connect to the heat of their market. We're analyzing all the MLS data of supply and demand, and, and, and we're gonna put it right in there to where it's really easy for the consumer to see. Things like we have something called what's important now, when, yeah, I love that. Yeah, um, to where we're like going, look, this HomeBot thing is huge. There's all of this content. What's most important right now? Well, one of the things that's important uh, for the consumer is to understand what all of these mortgage payment relief programs are about or not about because there's so much misinformation. Um, I was had a talk the other day, the difference between 2008 and 2020, there's more ways to get misinformation. So the, the wow. job of the broker is to be, well, the, the, well, first of all, what HomeBot will do is say to your, to your clients and prospects, if you have questions about this subject matter, you need to be calling, you need to be talking to your broker. That's where you're going to get the truth. So, um, so we're, we're, we're literally putting in a little meter that says, this is what you should be thinking about as a consumer so that they engage with their broker. So those are a couple of things. Would you want me to talk about some more? 
Yeah, no, I think those are those are great things to point out. And what I want to make sure everybody who's watching is aware, like Ernie and the whole team at HomeBot are so receptive to feedback. So we've got a couple of the people from the HomeBot team that are in the Brokers or Better group that help answer questions from time to time, Jay and Brad and Mike. And those guys sat there and watched all the content that Anthony, that my, myself, that AIM, that we were putting out around this subject, all of the things that you guys wanted to hear. And before we could even go to HomeBot and say, hey, this is a good thing for you guys to build in, they took that feedback themselves and brought it to the team over at HomeBot and got it cranked out in a couple weeks, right? I mean, you guys turned yeah. this around from mm -hmm. the very first time you heard us talking about it to the time that I got a chance to take a peek at it was, maybe 10 days, maybe. And y'all had it rolled out at the end of that week once I got a chance to see it. And it's fantastic, right? And it continues to push the message that our entire broker community is is getting out there on forbearance and what consumers need to know. And now y'all have taken that same conversation and just put it in front of one more area for consumers to be able to see and driving it back to brokers so that they're not getting this information from the bank or from the servicer, but from yeah. the, person, the expert. I'm so glad you brought that up because I mean, we, we've always had this thing to where we build the product bottom up based on what brokers want, what they need, what their clients want, what they need. But uh, it's funny that you mentioned that because I did see that video where, <laughs> where Anthony was putting the fear of God and everybody around this forbearance stuff. And that was what sparked us. We were just like, oh my gosh, HomeBot needs to be telling your entire database don't listen to those fools out there. Listen to your broker. Call your broker. You need to be talking to someone who can really coach you up about making great decisions right now, not poor ones that could obviously hurt you for many, many years to come. Exactly. And because you guys are so receptive to this stuff, our entire member base should be very confident that HomeBot is going to continue to evolve in ways that are not only dictated by the market, but based on the feedback that y'all are getting from aim as a group, right? That's one of the things that's super powerful about our relationship together is we can aggregate all of this information from all of our brokers, bring it to you guys, and y'all are so willing to take that and then go build a better product and a better solution. So it's even more important to make sure that as many consumers as possible are tied to your HomeBot database. And one of the ways that you can do that, that I don't think enough people realize are taking advantage of right now is pairing your database up with a realtor. So it's one more way that you can get in front of more consumers, probably more people that you haven't actually interacted with yourself, but tying your database to a realtor database is gonna expand your audience tenfold. So Ernie, can you tell us a little bit about how you can do that and what realtors get if they're using HomeBot service when tied to an originator? Yeah, well, I'm gonna say something really quick though that made me think about it when you were talking yeah. is that um, other than connection, HomeBot, um, and, I, and a lot of people are joking with me about, about this right now because for years, the last couple of years, everybody said, HomeBot's like a, re, it's a refi machine. It's a refi tool. And I was always like, no, 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 no. We're so much more. We're so much more. Yep. Well, as you can imagine right now with 6 trillion of refinanceable mortgage debt out there, I'm going, it's a refi tool. It's a refi <laughs> tool. So that, I mean, obviously, if, if you're listening to this right now, you're not using HomeBot to be a refi machine like in the next couple of days, you're missing out on what's happening right now. This thing will immediately cause your refi business to go because of the way that it presents in real time to refi. Now, the reason I wanted to mention that as it relates to realtors, um, as you know, I was a realtor for 10 years. I was a managing yeah. broker. Um, and it was my job to understand how realtors think when I was at realtor.com. But um, right now, realtors are suffering. You know, they're sitting on the bench. They can't do the open houses there. Uh, and it's 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 interesting because in a lot of ways, LO, uh, brokers who always wanted to get agents attention, but couldn't because they're too busy. You can now. So what are you right. gonna do? what are you going to do with this high signal to noise? In other words, lower noise, higher saying, what are you going to do with it? So um, agents are struggling. And I think that when you use HomeBot for your own database, we have now a freemium aspect of HomeBot that allows you to give as many realtors as you want HomeBot in a respite compliant way, such that those realtors can then give HomeBot to all their clients. Now, the reason I started this by talking about refi 
is because the way I talk to brokers now is I say, give the gift of refi to all of your agents' clients. What a, a great thing to do that the packaging of HomeBot plus you as a practitioner, you as a broker, give that to them. And for the agent, it's free for the sort of the, the starter version of this. Yep. So for the agent, it does two things. A, it gives the gift of refi. B, it connects them with their clients for all those things that we were just talking about for how why it was so important for LOs to stay connected to their clients. Definitely. And there's never been a better time to go deeper with your existing realtor partners and to go crazy expanding your base of realtors that you're going to work with when we get past Corona. Absolutely. That's such a great point. And from what is the difference or can you help us understand that freemium version that realtors can use for free, obviously, versus yep. there's a slightly more advanced version that is paid, but it's still a significantly reduced cost. I think it's only $25 a month for the, yeah. the upgraded version. It's pretty simple. So um, you, you nailed it too, that um, as a broker using HomeBot Pro, you have to be using our Pro version, which everybody really uses that, even though there's a yeah, Most people are using HomeBot Pro, yeah. If you're serious, you're using the Pro version already. Um, yep. That that you can, uh, when you give the free version out to agents, they are limited to only loading 25 clients. Gotcha. If they, if they say, wow, this is great. I love it. I want more than 25 clients. That's where the agent then has to go from free to paying 25 bucks a month. And then we of course have the reduced pricing, uh, for all the AIM members at only $10 a month, but you know, in other words, to create some RESPA, uh, compliance there. If they're paying, lender pays for that. And then that takes yep. them up to 500 clients, which of course is good for most agents. And then they can take it up from there. Yep. And I saw there was somebody who sent a question in that I can see on the side that just talks about if you can add more than a thousand contacts on the broker side, more than 500 contacts on the realtor, realtor side. Yes, you can do all of those things. HomeBot can hold as many customers or clients as you want, and you can buy those additional contacts in bulk, right? You do it just in set packages. So another thousand or another thousand, and there's just a small incremental fee for all of that additional storage. That's correct. We have agents and lenders with thousands and thousands and thousands of, of clients and projects. one of them. The, yeah, Scott <laughs> Shag. The other thing I <laughs> point out too, is that even though we spend a lot of time talking about homeowners, homeowners, HomeBot also supports just a home potential buyer. I know we're not talking a lot about that during these days right now, but when we get over this, you know, you're still going to have to cultivate and have a, um, a great experience engagement with buyers. So you can use it with, with people who don't own a home as well. Definitely. And just so that we're all on the same page, I want to make sure everybody understands a realtor can only be tied to one originator. So if you're Okay, so if you're a broker or you're an originator and you have realtor relationships and you know that that realtor is doing business with other originators in your area, this is such a great differentiator because once you get them in and get them hooked, they can only be tied to you. So their entire database that they upload into HomeBot is gonna see your name and your face and your contact information when it comes to refinancing, buying in the future, sending referrals out to their own network because we definitely see consumers that get the digest from HomeBot that wind up saying, I don't need to buy a house, but now that I know who this broker is, my neighbor wants to buy a house or my mom wants to buy a house, I'll just send her, I'll forward her my digest and she can call this broker and see if there's something that can be done, right? I mean, I, I, we see yeah, it a lot. I think you guys see it. And when you, I mean, right now, there is such an outsized opportunity to scorch the earth with realtors. Yeah. Um, if, you, if you're a broker, you can go out there with this free version and you say, look, A, um, it's going to help them connect. But B, you know, you are expanding your sphere for refis as well. But the relationships that you build now will last for years in terms of being able to, to give them some free. The other thing I, and, and actually the reason we created a free version is because of brokers that came to us that were so frustrated trying to convince realtors to use something and pay for something. And so yep. another way that, that we see brokers doing this right now is to say, I'm going to give it away to a hundred different real estate agents because I know 50 of them aren't going to do anything. And 
20 and then they because they want to get to that five or 10 that do upgrade, yep. they want to put their whole database in. This is a great sort of a real sleeper strategy to get in there and get close to agents. And I love what you said. Um, what you know, if, if there's an agent in your market that's you know always referring to a different broker, this is a great time to say, Hey, I got something for you because bots yep. in motion tend to stay in motion. Once you connect with a realtor on this, it is true that they can only be connected to one LO, one broker, and there's free will. They could always kick you off and partner with somebody else, and you could always kick them off, and you could partner with somebody else, right? But a successful partnerships tend to stay in motion, so it's a strike first. You really want to get, and right now is a great time to get out there and to give the gift. Exactly. Like you said earlier in our call, people, everyone's at home, right? There are tons of states that are not allowing open houses anymore. Realtors are sitting back wondering, how am I going to move this forward? How do I stay in front of my clients in ways that they've never had to before? Yep. Brokers, you guys have been doing this stuff for years. You've definitely been doing it for the last couple of years with AIM and all the messaging that's coming from Anthony and from the rest of our team on a regular basis, staying in front of your clients. Teach your realtors how to do the same thing because they've never had to worry about it before. They've had hot leads that are coming in that are ready to buy a house. Now they don't. So get them something that gets them in front of their entire database so they stay in front of their consumers as well in a way that they haven't had to before. You hit the nail on the head. They they, uh, they are finally having to do what we've been trying to get them to do. That means right. we have an industry. Um, and like I said, there's just an outsized opportunity right now to help them be successful even in the in in you know in light of all these circumstances. Definitely. So I did actually drop a little teaser in our Facebook group earlier and said that we had something big to announce for every broker that was in California. So I want to make sure that we get to that. Everybody that's watching, this has not been announced anywhere else yet. This is super exciting and Ernie's letting us talk about it first so that y'all have a head start. So Ernie, you guys have a new partnership. It's launching. It's in place. It's live. What yeah. is it? What does that mean for brokers? So the California Association of Realtors approached HomeBot several months ago. And when they, they saw a demo or something and they said, we think every realtor in the state of California should be providing this to their clients, that it's a public service. And of course we agreed. <laughs> and, um, and so we talked with, with the, the leadership there and how would we, what kind of program could we put together? And so what we decided to do was to, with CAR, California Association of Realtors, that they would promote and make available free HomeBot for every realtor in the state of California. And there's one catch. I was going to say, what's the hit? In order for the, the realtor to activate their free HomeBot, they must have an LO. They must have a broker. So, you know, everything we were just talking about, about encouraging folks. So if you're listening to this and you already have HomeBot, you should, and you're in California, you should, actually, regardless of where you are, you should be aggressively pursuing real estate agents and giving yeah. them the free version of it. For the brokers that are in California, all this means is that all of those realtors that find out about HomeBot through the California Association, they're going to need, they're going to need a broker to partner with. And your system already allows you to, to partner with them to satisfy that requirement. Now, here's the thing that I would share, and I, which I, th I think is so important for this audience today. If you are in California, you should not be waiting for the California Association of Realtors to really get going. We haven't really even done an announcement. They put a little blurb in a newsletter last week, and we already have hundreds of signups from car realtors. Of course, there's over 300,000 car realtors. Right. So when this thing really gets going, obviously, you know, realtors are going to be looking for, for lenders to partner with. But if you're already using HomeBot and you're in California and you're listening and you're watching us today, this is your, you can strike first now. You should be going first because it's really the same thing, whether you give them the free version or California Association promotes the free version. It's really the same thing. Uh, but to have their endorsement, we're on their, we're already on their business products page. We haven't done a press release. Uh, there was a little blur. We already got several hundred signing up. Um, this could be a really big deal. And again, I love it because the way they think about it is 
every realtor should be in, in the state of California should be empowering their clients with HomeBot. Um, but I mean, the folks that are on the call today and the entire AIM community, they you should be taking this message if you're in California to, to your realtors. Do not wait. You've got, I'm going to say you've got a couple of weeks before there's a lot of noise made about this partnership, but this is the first time I'm talking about it. So you caught me off guard yesterday. You said, hey, we're, well, we're doing it. We're talking about about it. it. <laughs> So one of the questions that I just saw come through is the free version for car limited to 25 people. No, the free version for car is the upgraded version for everybody else, right? It is not, it, no, it is the 25 limited. Okay. So the car, so if some, if an agent goes to the car website, wants to sign up for it, it is limited to 25 clients. So in other words, it is exactly the same freemium that every broker using HomeBot Pro right now can offer. Got it. There's, okay. no, there's no difference. It requires a lender and it's limited to 25 clients. Okay. So there are 300,000 realtors that are out there, brokers in California that are required to partner with a lender to get this, obviously, because it's the free, the freemium version, but it's going to be actively promoted by car, which means all these realtors know what it is. And they're all going to go out to their originator of their whoever their preferred lender is and ask them to sponsor them in HomeBot. Be that person. Put yourself in the position to take that spot right now. Because again, once they're signed up, the likelihood of them moving away from you as their partnered originator into somebody else is very slim. So if you've got realtors that you're working with right now, go get them to sign up and get them to pair their account with yours so they can start using HomeBot immediately. Yeah, that's the beauty of the freemium version of this too. Um, if I were a broker in the state of California, if when I'm not closing deals, I am signing realtors up for this thing nonstop. Awesome. Ernie, thank you so much for joining us. This has been amazing as always. Thank you, um, if anybody has questions about HomeBot. I've seen Jay jumping in and answering some questions in the comments. Feel free to continue putting those down. Send them to partnerships at aimgroup.com. Send an email directly to Jay. I think his email address is in one of the comments that I saw um, from the HomeBot team. Everybody on your side has always been amazing to work with. We're super excited about this new partnership for y'all um, and cannot wait until we get some more of those integrations. We talked about integrations with Andrew Pollock from Lead Pop yesterday and all the cool stuff that we're doing. Uh, for those of you that don't know or didn't catch us yesterday, we actually have our first ever Brokers Are Better network call happening, I think tomorrow, um, it's sometime in the next couple of days, where we're bringing together partners that are all inside of the Brokers Are Better network that would complement each other really well and facilitating a lot of those additional integrations. So we've already got a great integration between Lead Pops and HomeBot. We're pulling Verse into the conversation. We're pulling My Credit Guy into the conversation. We've got some CRMs that we're working with that we'll be announcing soon that are going to come into that as well. So we really can create a whole ecosystem for you and let all these systems work on your behalf and HomeBot is a crucial integral part of that network and we are so excited to see all the stuff that we can build with y'all over the next couple of months we are too katie and again uh, you were right it started all this relationship started with you and i on a call yeah. uh, over a year ago i remember there were when after i presented it's like there were crickets on your side i was like either he loves it or she hates it but oh, I, just wanna, oh, I just want to thank you for everything that's happened starting a year ago. We love working with you guys. I love working with you and really excited to, to uh, help get this partnership, the awareness of this to as many members as possible so they can really make, uh, make a lot of hay right now. Definitely. All right, guys, you heard it. Get out there, talk to your realtors, get them hooked up with your account. If you don't have HomeBot Pro, upgrade it now so you can take advantage of, of where we're at in the market over the next few months. Ernie, we will talk to you soon. Awesome. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, guys. See ya.